Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. If it's trending, it's here now. now. This now. is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Did the mics pick that up? Ace just cracked his energy drink. Did it? <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it picked up. I don't think anybody knew Riggins. <laughs> Who? Especially his wife. wife. Especially his wife. No, she's oh, okay. She well, didn't know. She's okay. She's, she's, she didn't mind one a day. She's when I have more uh, than one a day. You have too many of those. She doesn't mm. mind it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to blow your cover, though. Okay. That was why. <laughs> <laughs> He's drinking it on camera now. <laughs> and but that's safe. Every drop. You might as well be in a witness protection program as to yeah. do something on camera with us. Totally good. Yeah. Ain't nobody looking at that. <laughs> right. Totally good. <laughs> Allow me to be the first to uh, say happy National Crawfish Day. Today Yay. is National right. Crawfish Day. Man, uh, are they expensive this year. Are mm-hmm. they more expensive than ever? Yeah. Yeah, weather conditions haven't been right for the crawfish farms and and stuff. So really, yeah, there is my pocket. But I, I um, <laughs> yeah. but I did see a thing the other day where the prices are coming down a little bit from what they initially were. Okay, yeah. so so you know, Riggins. <laughs> so when I go to my <laughs> crawfish, that, yeah, yeah, when that truck shows up at <laughs> your house <laughs> with the live crawfish, yeah. Um, Katy Perry is you know dipping out of American Idol after this season. And she says she's got a recommendation for who should replace her. And she thinks Jelly Roll would be yeah. a good replacement yeah. on American Idol. Yeah, he was a guest on there the other day, the other like a mentor or whatever they call it. And people loved him. Really? I mean, they just yeah. loved him. And one of the reasons why is because he's he's so nice and he's so he, he always wants to inspire people and prop people up and all he's one of those kinds of guys, you know. You know, like the um the pothead that, that you know hangs around all the time and, and just hey man you can do it brother do it, I man. mean come on man hey man somebody's got to yeah, do it I've I've been might as well be you man I've been where you are if I can make it you know God got a purpose <laughs> for me he got a purpose for you too man I'm telling you brother <laughs> that's the guy who was always yeah. man if I can do it what do what I mean I was what doing. exactly have you done <laughs> graduate high school <laughs> but he is a very very uh, kind uh, soul. Yeah, Jelly Roll is. Does he run the risk now of oversaturation? Because I mean, see, he's on you know CMT Awards, he's on New Year's Rock and Eve, he's on every podcast, every single show. Will there, you know, are we getting to the point where it's a lot of Jelly Roll? Um, could be, could yeah. be. Um, but I mean, you can't blame him. He's went all those years and living with nothing, yeah, trying to make it, and now all of a sudden he's yeah. made it. He's he's going. You know, gas it till the world blows up, brother. There you go. I mean, hey, you just gotta you gotta gas it, man. <laughs> Will his uh, fan base be upset if he joins American Idol? Will they look at that as sort hmm. of a? I don't know. So I don't think so. I, mean, no, I think no. it's kind of like a good for Idol. Look at our guy getting out there mm-hmm. doing something else. That's good because people I'm, just root for him as a person. I think they do. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I don't know much about his audience, but I know it's getting bigger. Yeah, I don't either. And honestly, I don't know anything about his. Mu- I don't know his music at all. I yeah. know but like mm-hmm. one song. But I just know he seems like a really. I don't even know if I'd like his music, but he just seems like a really nice guy. Yeah, good sure. guy. Yeah, well, let me be on record once again is that uh, none of you listening or watching this would even know who Jelly Roll is if it weren't for me. That's I right. was Jelly Roll's TJ first Jelly fan Roll. in the in the mainstream uh, broadcast world. Yeah, so you, do you have to be done with him now because he's now so popular that you just can't? It's like sushi and... And then the Sopranos, and, and the Sopranos once off. everybody jumps on the bandwagon, I jump off. Yeah, do you have to? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> but we're approaching that time. <laughs> but, but soon. <laughs> Very possible. <laughs> yeah. So those are just a few things that are now trending. All right, there's a huge announcement coming up. One of the biggest announcements we've had in a long time. It's going to be so fun. And uh, you don't want to miss it. So that's coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. 
four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, my name is TJ, and uh, my wife and I do this um, this silly little thing on Saturdays where uh, we go to different uh, small towns uh, you know, uh, throughout our land. And uh, we make videos and take pictures and all of all of the things that each little town has to offer. It's called TJ and Jody's Small Town Adventures. Well, since we began doing that, Probably over a year ago now, right? We've been doing that. Um, we get suggestions from people. Where should we go next? What towns should we go? What do? You, what is a good little town for us to visit? And more than any other suggestion we've ever gotten the whole time we've been doing it is for us to go to New Bern, North Carolina. Um, so we've always had that on the list as, all right, we've got to make that one special when we go to New Bern, North Carolina. Uh, we even did some um, a little bit of research last year, uh, last summer. We were in the area, and you know, Jody and I went and just drove through there. And it's a uh, it's a cool little town. It's awesome. Um, so we are coming to New Bern, North Carolina, July eighth. We'll be there Saturday, July eighth, and this is huge because uh, Bojangles is sponsoring the trip that we're um, that we're having there. The entire um, TJ and Jody's small town adventure, as well as um, the different places that we're going to be stopping. And what we do is we just go from place to place, and you you come meet us wherever you can. Uh, we're also giving away in this one the opportunity for somebody to hang out with us all day. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, you hang out with us all day, and uh, also we're giving away hundred dollar gift cards to Bojangles and uh, and a stay at uh, the Double Tree by Hilton Newburn Riverfront. So I mean. We've been planning to come to New Bern for a long time. We just wanted to do it upright whenever we did because it is a, it is a special town. It's June eighth, not July eighth, by the way. What did I say? You said July. July I'm sorry. 8th. June eighth. June eighth. So, it's plenty of time. Not as much time as if it were July eighth, <laughs> but still plenty of time. Either way. Yeah. So what we what we're going to do is we're going to start at the Double Tree by Hilton New Bern Riverfront, and then um, we're going to go to uh, Cypress Hall. Baxter's 1892 and um, the <laughs> the Flying Fox. Now, funny story. Uh, when I recorded the um, the promotional announcement thing um, to run on the radio station Bob 93.3, I accidentally said uh, the Flying J because I'm so used to talking about the truck, truck stop. stop, the Flying J. But it's not the Flying J; it's the Flying Fox. So. Uh, just come and hang out with us, and and I mean even like join join the little um, the little tour with us, whatever you, whatever you know. But somebody will win uh, the opportunity to hang out with us the whole day. But you can't be weird. Remember that if you win that and you're going to be tagging along with us the whole day, don't be weird. Just don't do it. Don't no, do it. Nobody needs that. Mm -mm. So uh, you can go uh, to our stuff. You know, our app and website and all that to find out more information. Or you can go to um, the Bob 93.3 app and uh, and get registered for the prizes and all that. So we'll be talking more about it. Just wanted to throw the first announcement out there. It's like a save the date thing, but I don't have all your addresses, so I couldn't send a save the date card. <laughs> so this is <clears throat> the way to do it. June 8th, Small Town Adventures, New Bern, North Carolina, sponsored by Bojangles. It's going to be huge. Well, that, that part's up to you, but hopefully. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and... 
let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Well, it looks like uh, Ace, we have a growing uh, audience in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Um, I'm I'll seeing, take uh, it. seeing uh, some signs throughout the media that people are listening to our show and understanding what it's all about and, and taking heed to what, what we talk about and, and working it into their own lives. Um, you know, ever since we've talked about, um, all of those, you know, lunatics who sit down in traffic and block the streets and all of that, you know, like the ones the other day who are pro terrorist and pro terrorism and anti America and all of that. Chicago, yeah. yeah. And, and then those, um, those just disgusting little waifs that, that glue themselves to the wall of art museums or glue themselves to the pavement or what. One of the suggestions that I had, um, to make sure that that doesn't happen anymore is for somebody to basically come up and use snakes as a weapon, right? Right. Just drop some rattlesnakes in front of them or whatever, and then they'll they'll scatter uh, after that. Well, a man in Memphis, allegedly, um, according to reports, uh, tried to rob a gas station Monday and his weapon of choice, a live snake. People are listening. They're reacting, although not in the not for good in this case. Like right. if you turn a bunch of snakes loose on those pro terrorist traffic blockers, that would be using snakes as a weapon for good. This is using snake as a weapon for bad. So he goes in they holding it, the snake out. Well, he went in according to this, and he uh, he told him give him the money, and the guy said no, <laughs> and he left, <laughs> and he came back with a backpack and a live snake around his neck and said now give me the money and he started like reaching into his bag like he had a gun or he was going to put the snake on the guy and then the guy working at the store which by the way is on elvis presley boulevard i love that pretty cool um all he did was produce his gun and ended the situation did he shoot him (laughs) no oh um he left he took off um and you know, nobody was injured. It doesn't say what happened to the snake, though, what kind of snake it was, but you got to figure it had to be like a pet snake. Yeah. It's just wrapped around his neck. Um, so people have to work up to being able to handle rattlesnakes. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, special kind of people. <laughs> or why couldn't they just turn the dogs on those people? You know, yeah. Like yeah. I said before, when they're glued to the wall, you just keep it on the on the leash and let it get as close as possible. You know, just a snarling, snotty Doberman just rawr, <laughs> at those people while they're while they're glued to the wall. What would you do if somebody walked in with a snake and said, "I'm gonna throw it on you if you don't give me the money"? I'm gonna have to quickly assess what kind of snake are we looking at. Well, I, I mean, don't know a lot about snakes. If it's not too big, I'm not gonna freak out over it. Even at that, I mean. I think I could move out of the way of yeah. a snake if somebody tried to throw it. I'm pretty sure I could dodge it. And how are you going to throw it without making it mad? <laughs> you know? Yeah. How's that person going to throw it without making it mad and, and it striking him? It's yeah. a lot to be considered, you know? You yeah. got to you gotta get some really, really religious people to be able to use yeah. rattlesnakes as a weapon because they handle them in church. <laughs> <A> snake is <laughs> not They know how to do it. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm coming back and I'm bringing my snake this time. Okay. okay. Well, guess what? Yeah. Buddy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got yeah. this Let's snake go. right here. I got that. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ show. All right. Look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato company. You like that, don't you? 
Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> I mean. So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Yeah, man, yeah. Don't miss those other podcasts that we do. The uh, Ace and Friends and uh, TJ's podcast. Uh, TJ's podcast goes up at 10 Eastern on uh, on all of the, wherever you listen to podcasts. And Ace and Friends is at 3 in the afternoon Eastern. Um, you know, working hard, working hard, trying to give you all kinds of stuff. And that's right, give it to you because it's free. It's free. Yeah. It's free. The least you could do is, you know, subscribe and, and follow and do whatever you got to do. <laughs> That's the least, least I could, you do. Yeah, at least I could I could uh, learn the proper um, lexicon of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Keep selling it. I yeah. Love it. Um, so everybody's uh, still talking about the pay gap between the WNBA and the NBA, and I just kind of take that with a grain of salt because it's – it's because the NBA makes way more money than the WNBA. It's way, you know, it gets a lot more um, attention, and all that. maybe someday the WNBA will grow with people like Caitlin Clark. Um, but it's it's been really a big deal because of Caitlin Clark getting sure. so much attention, and um, that her salary is not even going to reach a hundred thousand a year in the next four years. Um, but then when I saw this, I thought, oh. Never even considered that. Um, <clears throat> not only is Caitlin Clark not making e- even a hundred thousand dollars, and the NBA players are making millions and millions. There are at least three NBA mascots that are going to make way more than anybody in the WNBA. That's brutal. The Denver Nuggets, Rocky the Mountain Lion. Uh, gets six hundred twenty-five thousand a year. What? Yep. Harry the Hawk from Atlanta gets six hundred grand, and Chicago's Benny the Bull four hundred grand a year. Six hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Now, the reason I think that's important is because um, that could be an inspiration for uh, little kids all over the U.S. America to start trying to be a mascot. I mean, that's a yeah. Now, to that's be a fair, really good good salary. Yeah. To be fair, though, but you got to add a little perspective to it because these mascots now these guys like do things like they 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 do events like they repel from the ceilings mm-hmm. and they you know they do gymnastics routines and they, there's a is it all kinds of stuff, and, I, and they, that's a full time year round job that they do doing appearances sure. and all that kind of stuff too. But man, you know that's a. Lot. But it's just the, <laughs> you know, just but the wording of it. Mascots sure. make more than the players. Yeah, that's you know, just trying to poke at the um, the uh, wage gap people a little bit. Right. Just, you know, I, just to have fun. <laughs> and, and mascots making. Over half a million a year. That's so bad. That's so insane to me. Huh? I had no idea they made that much money, though. Man, that's a lot of money. But you know what? They don't make more than they're worth. True. Yeah. You look at it like that. Yeah. You can make less than you're worth, but you never can make more than you're worth. Because you're worth whatever somebody wants to pay you. That's right. So, you know, 
Not worth a lot. Put on that um, that tiger head and get out there, Riggins. <laughs> 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 this is the Ace and TJ Show. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate... And years of research... We've decided great furniture... Is good fitting... And good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So Taylor Swift's next album is out this week. Uh, on Friday, it's called uh, the Tortured Poets Department. A lot of pop-ups are showing up all over LA and stuff like that. Big collaboration with Spotify in the works. Uh, and they said Taylor Swift is going to make 2024 the year of poetry. Now, I looked at some of the song titles. They don't really seem poetic. Like one is called Florida with an exclamation point at the end. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't strike me as like poetry. But uh, <laughs> she is certainly the uh, the best songwriter of my generation so i'm sure it probably will be poetry to some people but uh, that is out on friday and uh billy eilish was supposed to put out her album this week but i think she saw taylor swift's release and said you know what we'll move it two yeah. more days yeah. three yeah. more days hey guys you want to hold off for a couple of days <laughs> so yeah she's gonna come uh, next week uh, <clears throat> billy eilish's new album uh but taylor swift's boyfriend travis kelsey is a busy man uh he has officially confirmed that he is going to be hosting Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? So it's a takeoff on the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Um, apparently, once hosted by John Cena. I don't remember that. No, I don't either. But they, before him, it was Jeff Foxworthy. Yeah. So I think they kind of have a model of who they want hosting yeah. those shows. <laughs> there's, there's an invisible string uh, linking them all together. Yeah. Uh, but that'll be good for Travis. I think that's a good move for him. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did anybody see this picture of Clint Eastwood? No. Yeah, the okay. 93-year-old Clint Eastwood. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Coming I out haven't seen it. Okay, great. Look at him. Yeah. Looking, oh, wow. Looking yeah. spry. I mean, you're 93. Does that mean you can't clean up your hair and your beard a little bit? I mean, maybe he's got that for a role. I don't know. Maybe he's got that look for a party. Place. Maybe he's so. uh, directing. He just finished directing his new movie. And a lot of people are shocked. I guess they remember Clint Eastwood as sort of this rough and tumble guy, but he's been kind of out of the spotlight for a long time. He right. shows up here and there, but he just looks like an old old man. But yeah. he is. He's, he's ninety three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You just don't think he would look like it, but he does. Yeah. So poor guy. Uh, there's a uh, producer in Hollywood that says she doesn't understand the appeal of Sydney Sweeney, which is crazy. This woman, Carol Baum, said she's not only not attractive. But she can't act either. And her latest movie, Anyone But You, I think is what it was called, was unwatchable. Now, for perspective, Cindy Sweeney's, Sydney Sweeney's movie was the highest earning R-rated rom-com since like 2008. Since like Bridget, one of the Bridget Jones's movies. So, you know, maybe it was bad. But to argue that she's not a star, absolutely ridiculous. And to call her unattractive is, I mean, shockingly offensive. For a woman that looks like uh, Carol Baum. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Sydney Sweeney, she's not objectively attractive. Yeah. But do you think Sydney Sweeney would be as popular as she as she is if she weren't attractive? Maybe not. On talent alone? Maybe not. Yeah, no. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I, but I, there's nothing wrong with that. No, but, no, I'm just I'm just. But who would? Because I mean, anybody who's being attractive I'll, uh, I will always add to your popularity. Sure. But, I mean, if you're not attractive and you are really popular, then you've really done something. Mm -hmm. True. And there are a lot of those. Yeah. Maybe more of an accomplishment. Oh, it is more of an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. So those are just a few things that are now trending. Uh, ladies, be aware. In this age of technology, you cannot get away with much. And there's proof of that, thanks to a mom who got a little crazy at a bar. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. 
Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Ladies getting away for the weekend. Things get a little wild sometimes. Well, has anybody seen this Instagram post? I saw it yesterday from um, Missouri over the weekend from the University of Mizzou. Um, it's just a quick couple second shot of what appears to be a lady in like her 50s all over what appears to be a Missouri frat boy. In some bar, they are making out, and even as she pulls away, he bites her lip. It's 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 odd to see, but I don't know the story. Nobody seems to know. It. You know, they don't know these people. You don't know if she's married in a relationship or what the status is or any of that stuff. But uh, the comments were are are pretty hilarious. You know, <laughs> mom out there getting wild on you know mom's weekend at the University of Missouri. But here's a question. Um, what would you be able to deal with better? Your wife or girlfriend hooking up with a frat guy, a neighbor, or a coworker? Like mom goes off for the, your, your girlfriend, Riggins, goes off for the weekend and makes out with, and that's it. Nothing beyond that. She gets a little crazy. She makes out with a frat boy in a bar. Is that better or worse than if she made out at an after work event with a coworker, probably the same. The same. Okay. What about a neighbor? Uh, probably the same. <laughs> so are they all three across the board? That's yeah. I, I wouldn't look at that. They're all done. You mm-hmm. like see you later. We're we're over. Life as we know yeah, it has yeah, ended. Yeah. Okay. All right. TJ, same? Um, if we're talking about my wife, I would say the frat boy is the worst. The worst. Yeah, okay. because that's got that's got more problems attached to it of insecurities and, and attention seeking. And, and, you know, in in you know, in addition to just being a drunken yeah. Um, who. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tag D. Rob, Meredith goes off for the weekend. And which one of those is worse if she makes out with frat boy, neighbor or coworker? I think coworker is the worst. That's my answer too, coworker, because that makes me think something's been brewing there for a long time. Like what's going on with that? Yeah, and it could happen again. And yeah, because you got to go back and see that person again. I think neighbor is also. I mean, maybe, maybe neighbor and the coworker are just as bad. But. Yeah, that's that was exactly my thought, Rob. I give, um, not that I'm giving a pass, but I'll give more of a pass to the frat boy because you'll never see that guy again. Right. Well, coworker, you're going to see every no, day. No, she wouldn't. If it's a coworker, she's gonna have to quit that job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Mm-hmm. If it's a neighbor, she's you gotta we move. We gotta move, yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all getting booted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if we want it to work. Right. Right. Uh, sure. If we want to work it out. Well. I just the, the video is wild. She's at her ladies in her fifties and this kid he doesn't even look like he's old enough to be in a bar. Hat backwards. All over each other, standing at the bar. People all around. It's like, that's mm-hmm. nuts. But proof, you you, know, you can't get away with anything these days. <laughs> but what is your freak flag? The freaky thing that you do in your life, you know, not, uh, not in an intimate way, just this weird little thing that you do. Next, hang on. It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you, a proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details.
This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Years ago, Riggins alerted me to the fact that there was someone in the state of North Carolina who had become somewhat of a celebrity. And I had no idea who this person was. And it's the, who was the person that used to be in the elevators? It was on the elevator. Oh, uh, Cherry Berry. Berry. Who, Rob? Cherry Berry. Cherry Berry. Okay. Yeah. And I went, when you told me, I went and asked Amanda about it. She was like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, everybody knows that. I, was yeah. like, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, with the inspector of the elevator. The inspector of the yeah. elevators. Mm-hmm. But I saw this on a post the other day. Somebody said, um, that, is it weird that, quote, I read elevator inspection certificates in all elevators. Um, if it's posted in the office, that usually means it's just expired. I sometimes wonder what an elevator inspection consists of. Hmm. So that's wow. kind of it. So this person, every time they get in an elevator, stops and reads that sticker, that, that inspection sticker that's in there. Well, apparently a lot of other people do too. And I, I think some of these just look for the, because several people have answered this question on our social media and said, oh, I look at that, I re- read those too. I read the last time it was inspected. Yeah, that's, I do that. Which I can understand. But I know when it changed and it was no longer Sherry Berry, yeah. that was a big deal. Yeah, it's a different person. Now. That was a big deal for people all over the state. Some dude. <clears throat> but what is the thing that you would consider to be your, your, you know, the freaky thing that you do in life on a regular basis? Is there anything that stands out? Like, um, I saw this a guy said named Eric said, I have a crazy mental catalog of music. I listen to two to three albums every single day. And on the weekends, I'll go through whole discographies of artists. Unfortunately, if you tried to talk to me about music in person, I'd come across as a snob. Oh. He listens to two to three albums a day. Bless him. He can't afford a TV. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, Man. they're not um, that expensive now. Shame. A lady named named Kathy said, "I'm obsessed with maritime disasters, ships that have burned or they sank. I used to be very frightened of the sea during my childhood, so now it's become an obsession." I get that. Wait, what? I'm into animal attacks. That's probably my freakiest thing. <laughs> watching them on YouTube? Not or? necessarily watching them, but hearing people tell the story of how it happened hmm. and, and reading about them. Yeah, I just, that is freaky. <laughs> so you, love, you love an animal at the I time. love them. That is strange. Do you have anything, Rob, that jumps out at you? I don't know how weird it is, but every time I see a, a, a string of numbers, I add them all together in my head for some reason. Like if I'm behind somebody, I, if I read their license plate, I'll add all the numbers together together for no reason. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, There's a lady named Christy who said, I smell all of my foods individually before I eat them. (laughs) She goes, always have. I'm picturing like she picks it up with a fork and goes. I picture picking the plate plate up. up. That's what I picture too. She picks the plate up. Okay. Either one of them, you look look ridiculous. Especially new books and the newspaper. So when she gets a new book, she just smells Mm -hmm. it. Where is there a new newspaper? I don't know. I do not know. Few and far between. <laughs> uh, and then there was there was uh, one more. Then I am a uh, a toy nerd. Mm-hmm. Grown up toys. Yeah. Brands like drones. sizes, prices, how they're made. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> like a collector. Yeah. So what is it? If you got at the Ace TJ show, what is your freak flag? What is your weird little freaky thing that you do all the time? It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense. It makes life much easier. Go to homewithrichard.com to start the process. A lot of options with Richard Ducato. Don't miss this opportunity. Homewithrichard.com. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and 
let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it. Now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Grab your phone real quick and make a note for yourself today. 3 Eastern on the Ace and TJ app is the new edition of Ace and Friends. Why? Because today my sister is back on. My sister's mm. become a regular feature every Wednesday. We call her Paranormal Piper from Pineville. She uh, she hit me up yesterday and said, uh, can you FaceTime real quick? I was like, oh, man. I couldn't. I was in my car. And I said, she goes, I want to see Dax. And I got a story to tell you. Um, I guess it's okay to tell this on the radio, but my nephew apparently just lost his mind for a minute. He's 14 and his buddy was sleeping over and they snuck out of the house and then went and like 1130 at night in my, in my, the neighborhood where my sister and I grew up and took some kind of huge firework that this kid had brought over and right across the street, there's a little drain, uh, you know, like a, what do you call it? Like a gutter, like a drain and they lit it and threw it down in there. And it sounds like a bomb going off. Mm-hmm. How do I know that? Because they filmed it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <Get Duh>. Boom! <laughs> well, it was loud. It woke a bunch of people up. And uh, she sent me the video and everything. And I would play it for you, except uh, the 14-year-olds are dropping the F word like it's going out of style. Yeah. And that got them in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I was like, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> So one of those things you go, I get it. You know, I did lots of stupid stuff like that, but that was just dumb because guess what else everybody has now? Ring cameras. Mm-hmm. Four different neighbors captured them on ring cameras. Oh my God. Like, like <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> it does sound fun as hell yeah. though. They have a ring camera at <laughs> the house. So she captured them. And then two neighbors across the street and the neighbor next door all got them on the ring cameras. But yeah. it didn't hurt anything. No, it didn't hurt anything. Destroying property. Or anything. No, it's a big, uh, it's one of those big drains that yeah. leads the, the, out into the woods, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, so they just dropped it down in there and it just, I mean, it goes, boom, when it goes off. And you see a, a flash like they're laughing. And I was like, <laughs> I awesome. get it, but you got to be, it is kind of, I didn't, yeah. want, I didn't say that, but I was like, that was pretty cool. Not the cussing part. That's bad. Don't, <laughs> don't be cussing and filming yourself, but throwing a big, huge firework down a storm drain, that sounds like fun as hell. I would like to do that now. <laughs> I want to do that like today. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Because I, I got to be honest with you, it was you know it's dark, and they throw it in there, and it's a huge flash of fire that looks like it comes out of that. Yeah, like, That's that? cool. Where are they getting that? Firework store. Be in, in firework stand. Really? Yeah, just regular. It's not uh, illegal firework. No, no, it's, a, it's some kind of firework that they got in the store on store. that dark web. No, they from got China, it right there, right there on Highway 28 East in Pineville, Louisiana, from one of those firework stands. You oh, y'all can't get the real deal fireworks like we can't get here. Oh, I don't know. What do you mean? Yeah, like, I don't you, know. you know, you got to go South Carolina to get like the good. No, ones. I think they've got they've got fireworks stands all over the place. So yeah, you can get okay. the real deal fireworks there. Yeah, that's but, sick. But yeah. they used to only do it at holidays around firework holidays. Yeah, I don't know if he had it with, if he had held on to it or what. Yeah. But anyway, that makes sense. <laughs> Louisiana's got a year round fireworks stand. <laughs> <laughs> if any state were going to have a year round fireworks stand, it'd I be mean, Louisiana. Any time's a good time to blow something up. Absolutely. Man. Come on. Are you going to call him later and be like, I've never been more proud of you? No, I'm not. I don't mm-hmm. want to do that. But maybe we can talk to her about it when she joins Ace and Friends uh, <laughs> later on today. So that's uh, 3 Eastern this afternoon on the Ace and TJ app. It's radio, it's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, 
Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is as Ace has said, we have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash Temple team. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So There's a lot of basketball stuff trending this morning. A lot of Lakers talk. Clay Thompson. Playing games were last night. Yeah. Yeah. The Warriors got beat. Clay Thompson is probably <laughs> done in Golden State. So. Yeah. You said play in games. I thought you said play in games like spending money. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> playing. These are play in yeah. games. The play in games to the playoffs. So uh, LeBron and the Lakers won last night. That was a big deal. I saw somebody, you know, that LeBron's son is going to be in the draft now. They're saying he's like totally not ready for the NBA. Right. Is that accurate? It seems to be accurate, yes. But LeBron doesn't want to retire until he gets to play one season with he his son? He wants to play one season with his son. But that would mean if now, if he doesn't go to the NBA draft now, he would have to wait two more years. Which means yeah. LeBron has to play another at least three years. And in LeBron's defense, he is a really, really stupid person. <laughs> <laughs> He's do, not smart. Do you understand, like, wanting to play with your son? Like, as a would that be fun? I mean, does that sound exciting? To me, I don't know. It's like I'm the greatest probably ever to do what I do. Do I care about playing a season with my son? I think it probably would be great, but I also think as a father – Knowing that you are considered one of the greatest of all time, that's a huge shadow to cast on a young yeah. man, on your son starting his career. Let him have his life. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But because LeBron is so about LeBron. Yeah, maybe. And yeah. he's not a smart person. <laughs> my poor Nelly, my poor Nelly, um, country grammar, everybody knows Nelly, hot in her. He played a show at Florida University. Look at the crowd. Uh, it, they did it in the gym, like where they play basketball, you know, and uh, they had all these oh. seats empty. So they told all the students, hey, regardless of your seat, uh, you can just come down to the floor because not a lot of people sh- like like a handful of people showed up to see Nelly. Yeah, it's in, Nelly. An, ar- in an arena. It looks like they maybe have 1500 people. there. Oh, mm. I in think a, you're being generous. In a 10, 12,000 seat arena, there's like a thousand yeah. people. There. Yeah. I wonder if it's because it was expensive. I think it was a free show. Oh, oh for no. the students Yikes. of Florida. But yeah. again, even worse. Would you think? But, but if you wanted to do a show for the stu- for college students now, is Nelly who you go with? It some, is free. A lot. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. some people said because it was free, I showed up. But a lot of people said I didn't know a lot of Nelly songs, but it was something to do on a Friday night, so yeah. I went. But poor Nelly, I feel yeah. terrible for him. Uh, ladies, just a heads up: if you're going to shop, be aware of this one scary thing. It could happen to you. I'll tell you next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at sweet dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Available when you want it. 
how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Listen to the Ace and TJ show sponsored by Richard Takato. He's a mortgage expert. Uh, he can help you buy a home, refinancing, uh, open a home equity line. Super easy. All it takes is one short phone call with Richard. He won't keep you on the phone too long. Don't worry. One short phone call, or you can head over to uh, homewithrichard.com. Uh, go check him out. He's great. Uh, so this is kind of crazy. Rob, are you still wearing the makeup that you, you started wearing a couple weeks ago? I never got the stuff. I, it's, it was a plan to get it, and it's not makeup, so shut up. If it's, it's an under eye, eye roller, it's not, yeah. it's, not, it's not makeup. It's to to make skin better. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cosmetics, is what it is. No, it it's is not. Right, that's it the, is. It's no, co- it is cosmetics. Cosmetic. It's cosmetic. Yeah. No, it is healing my skin. Yeah. Uh, but I haven't used it yet. So. It's still cosmetic. Mm-hmm. We're, yeah. disagree. We're, we're, we're disagree. We're splitting hairs. But uh, a woman was in the cosmetics aisle at her local Walmart. She said a guy walked up to her. This is scary. Springville, Spring Hill, Tennessee. She's shopping in the cosmetic section. A guy walks up to her, she says, doesn't speak English, and approaches her pretty quickly and gets kind of in her face and starts speaking to her. She goes, she said, I immediately put up my hands to say, no, thank you. And he opens his jacket and is uh, motioning to her to come smell the inside of his like blazer. And she goes, later I found out this is um, what some people will do to drug you and kidnap you because they lace the inside hmm. fabric of their jacket with whatever that is, like the thing you see in movies. Yeah. Where they, chloroform. Yeah. Cl- yeah. Chloroform, I guess. Um, so he's motioning for her to come smell his jacket, and she immediately you know, puts up her hands like this, and she says the one thing that saved her life were her tattoos on her hand. And that doesn't make a lot of sense, but she says she later found out that if Somebody who's trying to kidnap you sees something easily identifiable, like a prominent tattoo, they will avoid uh, completing that act. So she says her hand tattoos actually saved her life. Hmm. Was there security footage of this in the store? She didn't show it in the uh, in the video, but I would imagine there is. It's Walmart. They film everything. Yeah. So lesson here. Get more tattoos. Exactly. Yeah. She's also a tattoo artist. <laughs> <laughs> the first one's on her. <laughs> uh, Sexy and safe. The hand yeah, tattoo. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> uh, more next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato. I'm sorry. Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me, yeah, about, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is what is Ace has said. We have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, It's National Crawfish Day. Happy National Crawfish Day. It's also National Banana Day. (laughs) Banana. I saw some guy, he went to a Dairy Queen, and he goes, listen, I've, I've tricked the system. Every time he goes to get a banana split, this Dairy Queen... They tell him they're out of bananas. So this one time he showed up with like a whole bunch of bananas. He was like, can I get two banana splits? And they're like, sorry, we're out of bananas. He's like, well, it's your lucky day because I got a whole bunch of them right here. <laughs> so he gave them the bananas and they went, they ended up making the banana split for Is that a Dairy Queen him. thing that they, they're always out of bananas? I have no idea. Huh. I get, But he goes, every time I come here, 
they're out of bananas. Yeah, maybe it's just that one. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. And they probably don't have a lot of bananas because probably not a lot of people are ordering banana, banana splits. splits. I didn't know that they had that at Dairy Queen, to be honest with you. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. yeah. I love a banana split. My grandfather loved a banana oh. split, too. Um, so I think this is wild. I don't know if you've seen this, but Disney, Disney World and Disneyland are cracking down on their uh, service disability service programs where if you can't stand in a line for an extended period of time, they have a service. Now, we know this through our charity. Uh, that people in wheelchairs often get given a time where they can come back and skip the line if they're not able to wait in a long line. And they're called like disability service programs. But they're cracking down because they found that people are abusing the system, specifically adults lying about having things like autism so they can be given a time to come back later so they can skip the line. Mm Mm-hmm. And now they're having to crack down on it uh, beginning this year through 2025. They're in implementing new rules. Now, what are your thoughts on an adult that fakes something like having autism to skip a line at a theme park? You're trash. It's trash. trash. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm a pro-life person. You know, I think the death penalty is not a good thing. I'm for the death penalty for people that lie about having autism to skip a line at Disney World. How, because not even because it's so it's hurting anybody, but how low can you possibly be to be an adult mm-hmm. yeah. and to lie about having autism so you can skip a line to go on Space Mountain? And you know, right. they yeah. implemented that program. That when that program began, they probably never thought that would be an issue. Mm. Rightfully so. This is who we've become as a country. Um, and when Horrible. people started going to Disney World, they never thought Disney would be doing a lot of stuff they're doing either. So, well. They Fair. can't say nothing, Disney. <laughs> Fair right. enough. But I mean, really, get your priorities in check. I mean, yeah, I, I, I would gotta, say we just don't need that trash living amongst us good people. Yeah. yeah <laughs> put put them on an island somewhere. Put them on. Trashy island. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> more next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N E O G E N I X neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 so uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now listen to that. You call in, they set it up. Your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Companies. <laughs> This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, we got a lot of, we got a ton of stuff for sale at the Ace and TJ store, acetj.com slash store. Um, hats, t-shirts, hoodies, crew neck sweatshirts, and of course the Ace and TJ hot sauces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is, um, today's National Crawfish Day, do you dip your crawfish in like a creamy sauce. I've seen people do that on the internet. Do you boil crawfish? Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you have a crawfish boil, yeah, yeah. It's a um, 
mayonnaise, hot sauce, ketchup mixture with some spices and seasonings and stuff. Yeah. I think I'd be into that. Might mm-hmm. be perfect with the Ace and TJ hot sauces. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that Louisiana loving would be the thing to use that with. Yeah. How do I get more of that for uh, for on the low low, on the cheap? You got a car. You can order. You run the, you run the store. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're the manager of the store. Yeah, I'm gonna Get create. It. I'm gonna create a promo code for 100 percent off. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it to myself. Yeah, just... I think that's the way to do it. Rob, can we convince you to eat some crawfish? Um, what's it taste like? Uh, shrimp. 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 I like shrimp. It, it tastes Kinda like, like a uh, a richer um, shrimp with more flavor. Yeah. I give it a shot. I like shrimp. You yeah, like shrimp. It's a lot yeah. better than shrimp. Um, yeah, and then you can make your fettuccine Alfredo with crawfish. In. Does that sound appealing? I mean. Mm-hmm. It's no, it's not as good as my favorite Alfredo meat, which is pe- pepperoni. <laughs> pepperoni. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> pepperoni is my favorite Alfredo meat. <laughs> That's what he used to get on his pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> um, we were in a sports bar the other night in Indiana with my father-in-law. Uh, he's very particular about things. He's got dietary restrictions and all that, and so um, he's also OCD and they have pizzas on the menu and he's going i wonder if they have uh, they can do alfredo sauce on the pizzas my mother-in-law goes probably not this is not a pizza place yeah. they probably have so the uh young lady comes around and, and says uh, can i take everyone's drink order and he goes holds his hand up and goes wait before we get into all that can you do fettuccine uh yeah fettuccine um alfredo sauce on a pizza instead of the tomato sauce and she goes, um, I'm not sure. He goes, can you go find out? So before anybody could say, even say, I want water, or, oh, yeah. you know, or, so he sends her back off to find For some special <laughs> know. He, he had to know right then. She could have brought the answer back when she brought the drinks. Yeah. He's always got like a special request that's yeah, causing he's problems. Yeah, diverticulitis and all kinds of crap like that. Oh, Lord. This cannot wait. Yeah. Yeah. Before you get into all that, yeah. I need to know. You could have brought me a beer and the answer to your question. Yeah. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, radio family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.